My name's Casper. I'm 20 years old. Um, I have pre predominantly been making music with a punk band, um, but since I was like nine years old, I've been writing acoustic music, and this is kind of the first time that I'm showing that since I was 14 years old now. So the song that I recorded wasn't the song that I'd intended to come in and record, but basically two days before I came in for the recording, um, I was on my way back from a protest and I bumped into a friend, Donna, um, and Donna makes bracelets in the street, which she calls Jackson's Bands, named after her son, Jackson. And um, I sat with Donna for like a couple hours and then I was like, hey Don, how long are you going to be around for? I'm going to go grab my guitar and we can, I can show you some tunes I've written. So I go home, grab my guitar, come back onto the street, I sit with Donna. And um, while I'm sat there, not intending to write music at all, Donna starts complaining about how um, people walk past her on the street sometimes and will just ignore her or will be nasty as hell to her or just act like she doesn't exist, won't even look her in the eye um, and just getting frustrated of how people treat the homeless because Donna's not homeless anymore, she was housed around two years ago but people will still treat her like they would when she was homeless so she still experiences the backlash of that. Um, so she's, she was ranting about it for ages and then um, Donna was like, Casper, can you write a song for me about it? And I was like, yeah, let's do it, Donna, why not? So I bring my notepad out and I just found some chords, just some chords that sounded kind of nice. And then based off of what Donna would say about how people were treating her, so someone would walk past on the street and she'd be like, oh, look at the red lip twats and they're not even making eye contact. And I'd be like, that's a lyric, Donna. So we'd write it down, just scribbling little notes of things that she was saying into the side of the book and then eventually turning them into lyrics for the song. And I wrote the whole song just in the two hours or so, maybe like an hour that I was sat with her on the street. So it was, it was very off the cuff, really. Um, but by the end of my time sat with Donna, we had a whole song written um, and it was really cool. A lot of my songs are generally about well-being. It's the reason that I started writing music. I had a bit of a tough time with my well-being as a child. I still do. And I'd gotten to a point where I felt like I couldn't explain how I was feeling. I had like, at the time, my autism was undiagnosed and I struggled to communicate my emotions in an effective way. Songwriting gave me this outlet to be able to talk exactly about how I felt, what I was going through without anyone being able to talk back, which is something I've always found is that like, no one can argue with it, it's a song, you know, no one can, no one can say, hey, is that about me? Because I can just go, oh, it's just a song, man, you know? So I was able to really get through my emotions. And um, it's funny when you listen back to songs that I wrote, just like chords and singing from when I was like nine, the lyrics are kind of intense and I was talking about some pretty intense stuff that was going on that you wouldn't really expect a nine-year-old to be writing about but that was always my place to do it and I'm so glad that I have that because it's the thing that's kept me alive. I'm Casper James and this is Donna's song. Welcome back Turn your nose up, but all I said was hey. Still, you're wondering why my voice will harden at your ignorance. Say, hey, I'm talking to a straight, well, it's